Welcome back to Renoa Reviews, and we're in the proverbial hump day for Street Fighter Week. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ten years later, after Alpha the Animation, you only give us 40 plus minutes of movie here? Uh, am I gonna regret this one? Seems like it's just focused on Ryu and Akuma, but maybe something else cool will happen? I don't recall seeing this one ever, unlike uh, Alpha, which I actually owned the DVD for. But anyway, this is Street Fighter Alpha Generations. Now we're really looking all Groppler Baki-esque. Best quality I could find was in Japanese with English subtitles, so... It's Goki, not Akuma, but... Who in two minutes in has already dispatched Goken? Oh, young boy Goki. He's all banged up and found by a girl named Sayaka in a long-haired looking Ryu. Honest face, white gi, no headband. Hmm, okay. Akuma lore? All right, all right. Which means the old man there is probably Gotetsu, master of Akuma and Goken. Akuma pleads with possibly Gotetsu about using the darker aspects of Hado, like why and all that, and Sensei's like, no, he of course forbids that due to its self-destructive nature. Gotetsu fears, telling Goken, if I fail to cut him free of this, you have to do it. And Goken wakes from a bad dream of the opening. Not even five minutes, we're at the fight already again. And it's here that Akuma slays Gotetsu. You know how Akuma has that giant bead necklace? That belonged to Gotetsu originally. So he takes that, puts it over himself. I think he declares himself master now in a way. So Goken's uh, his anger grief while it's possible Sayaka maybe feeling the starting effects of sickness. Like, in that time period, she was with Akuma's child? Ooh. We're getting that implication again, are we? Maybe that child is here now as possibly Ryu walks along this path where a grave sits among paying respects from this young girl. It must be Ryu because when Akuma appears, he angrily demands to know why he killed his master Goken. But alas, a dream. He senses someone and throws his kettle of hot water at the ground. And now we have a tiny grandpa character throwing hands? And he can send Piyukiaku as well. Young boy rookie ass Ryu tossing a tiny Hadoken that Grandpa just catches and throws back, winning the fight. What's his deal? I guess he's letting Ryu stay as his apprentice with his granddaughter, the girl from before named Fuka. Grandpa wonders, has Ryu found what he's searching for? Ryu is just a kid when he first saw Kuma. He feels he's destined to fight him someday. So he trains and time passes. Him and Yuka talk about stuff, including where Goken told Ryu in a flashback not to fight someone like Akuma. Oh, and some girl shows up saying, I found you, and uh, she passes out. <laughs> yeah, Sakura's in this too, and she can already do her running show to Yuken and Tatsumaki. She asks Ryu, don't hold back. Getting clobbered, but not backing down from Ryu's full brunt, so... She's in the headband, but Ryu isn't? That's a little weird. She also mentions Ken, but through the fight, Ryu feels like, okay, revenge isn't the important thing here. The fight is. So maybe he won't succumb to the Dark Ido in this movie. Ken's on his way and Ryu's head banded up. Grandpa tells him where Akuma usually has been said to appear. He very sternly tells Ken once he arrives, stay back and let Ryu and Akuma have this fight. Ken's like, I gotta help my friend, so he gets quickly dropped, trying to interfere. Grandpa knows Goken was helpful in making sure the Dark Hado, yes, it's the term in this movie too, doesn't awake within Ryu. Gives some history to it, saying in so many words, the Dark Hado's true identity is a devil's power manifest that can take control of the user. Goken's booming like mad as... From beyond the grave, ooh, yeah, just a bunch of ghosts appears. Yuka and Sakura are all surrounded by ghosts as well. Ryu getting angry enough starts to fall under that influence and actually begins to make contact with Akuma. Most of the ghosts are, uh, these wounded and un in unrest warriors who start killing people, killing their own, killing loved ones just to attain this level of power. Like Akuma does it, did his sensei and brother, therefore that's the, the nature of the Satsui. No Hado, the Dark Hado. A memory of the flower that Fuka leaves for the grave is enough to snap Ryu out of this state. 
And since when can Ryu throw air fireballs? Hmm. But uh, battle ends with Akuma tacking on some real damage who vows, I'll return one day. And once again, we get the Ryu is Akuma's son that I'm fairly certain the games do not follow. And that's the movie. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this was uh, 40 minutes. I'm like, okay, this is going to be a short one. Best character? Ryu in this is way less of the... Can I really pass the Dark Hado like every five minutes keep flaring up the ten years ago? Even trying to resolve in the beginning that it's, okay, it's the fight that matters, not the revenge, because he knows where he ends up if he does seek that out. Like, he's still rookie-ass Ryu, but uh, with more of his head on his shoulders instead of up his own you-know-what. Gotta go with the grandpa character for being a perf for one scene where y Yuka and Sakura share a post-Ryu sparring match soak. He debuted the coolest and quickly skidded down in this 44-minute movie to be the worst character in this. Power on, it was really cool to see Sakura already have some mastery of the style she uses. It even looked like she could win, but Ryu's got a Ryu. Also fleshing out the dark Hado into something... Probably more than Capcom ever did, with the whole setting of you gotta kill, like, a friend or a loved one, with the ghosts appearing to start slashing, like, like unarmed, like, women and children of ghosts and stuff like that, starting that massacre over again, like, to seek this power, there's a, a price to be paid, and all the more reason for Gotetsu in the beginning to tell uh, Akuma, no, don't seek this power out. Is the path of the devil it is self-destructive in all things, and yeah. You gotta kill your you gotta kill your lone loved ones to attain this power. Power off is the whole Akuma Ryu father son thing. I don't know if a Capcom ever denied it, but I don't think they flat out confirmed it either. I mean, what does it even add if they were? It's what Akuma did. Not who he is slash was that defines that that coming fight between the two. But that Street Fighter Alpha Generations, it wasn't terrible, but probably something you could skip altogether. Long-haired Ryu S. Goken's a cool design that they off in five minutes. Street Fighter Week continues with something else I haven't seen until it reviewed it. I was hurting a little bit with this, I'm gonna be hurting a lot with the Legend of Chun-Li. So until next time, take care and thank me for watching and reviewing this and the later movie later so you don't have to.